Okay. So now we're on the third single sheet book. And this is called a zigzag book or a maze book. It's a form of a maze book. Um, but it, the way that you fold it is in a zigzag. So I've heard it called that as well. So just another sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper. And we're gonna fold this piece of paper into sixteenths. So we're gonna start the same way we've been starting with the short edges. Gonna fold and unfold. And we're gonna break the fold. And if you want, at this point, you can go ahead and do this fold, which is bring the center, the short edge to the center. It really doesn't matter the order. It's just, I don't know, I was here and I'm just gonna do it now. Go ahead. And this paper is just Astro Bright's copy paper from Staples or whatever from a office depot or I don't remember where I got it, but it's just plain copy paper, but it's color. Okay, so there's my folds, the short edges, and now I'm gonna do the same thing with the long edges. So bring the long edges together, increase it. And break that fold. And then long edge to the center. Break that fold too. Long edge to the center on the other side. And then break this one. Okay, so now we're gonna make some cuts and I'm gonna draw them on again so you can see what I'm doing and before I cut it. And so then you can just follow along without having to draw. I'm going to come in from the long edge. I'm gonna come down one, one fold and then I'm gonna cut all the way out on this side. And down one, and I'm just cutting all the way down for three folds. One, two, three, all the way out. Like that. So that is at one edge of the short length. Then I'm going to come down to the other end, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm not going to the center yet. I'm going down to the opposite end. And I'm gonna cut exactly the same. So I'm gonna come in one. And I'm not cutting yet. I'm just drawing this so you can see. And I'm gonna go out like that. So if you can see, that's the cuts that I'm gonna make. And then the center one is gonna be the opposite way. It's gonna start one down and then come out to the other side. So I'll, I'm in the center, I'm gonna come down one, down one fold and out the other side. Like that. So if you look at that, you can start to see the letter. It's a letter M. Actually, this is W. This is an M. So it's cut, cut, cut. Two cuts out this way and a cut out the top in the center. Okay, so cut that now. So I usually do the two that are in one direction first. 
and then I'll rotate it and do the other cut because I want to pull the knife towards me. It just feels more comfortable. And I don't have to try to stop in the middle of the paper. I can start very easily there and then pull all the way out. That's the easiest thing to do. So there's your little W or M like that. So that's the cuts that you're going to make for that. And then what you're going to do, you can see the zigzagness of this, is you're going to just gather this up like an accordion. So gather it. And then when you get to the end of that first line, you don't want to fold it forward into, into itself like that. So then you'd have to fold on top of it. So you're going to, let's start again, gather it up. And then you're going to fold like away from the stack and then gather and then fold forward, gather, fold forward and gather here like that. There's your folded little book. And so you've got some like little weird places where, you know, you have folds that fold down. And, you know, some of my students have closed that if they don't like that part, they just close that and collapse it and you and make in a little accordion book. But I've also had students who want it like this and open it up. I think that book that I showed you that about the shopping that is done this way. And I'll pull that out again for the sample video that I do. So this is the zigzag fold, simple cuts. But this is actually a lot of paper and a lot of pages. So if you use a big sheet of paper, you can imagine you're going to have a lot of book there. This is 16 pages, 16 on two sides. So it's 32 pages. That's a lot of book. OK, so that's the zigzag book. And now we're going to do another one, the maze book. That's a similar structure. OK.